Today I got a little kill confirmed footage. One and only E-Man here. I'm actually not a huge fan of kill confirmed. But I actually have friends that love to play it and now we actually run pretty much the elite playlist. So it's Casey, Dom, and Team Deathmatch. So I play it a lot now. <laughs> and I'm actually not too bad at it, but uh, I would rather play Domination or Team Defender personally. But I don't have friends that want to play that. So no sense crying about it. <laughs> but uh, the one cool thing about Kill Confirmed is that like you can actually get a lot of kills. I actually did pretty well this match. I think I went 30 and 11 and what I did was I ran the G36C and I'm just trying to get as many kills as possible. I'm running Assault, something I don't normally do either, but you know for this match I, I actually did pretty well and uh, I was pretty much rushing the whole time so got a nice little double there. Uh, go back and then like with this one I'm not even sure how I got this kill. I don't even see it. Yeah I see the guy at the last second and I He's <laughs> swerved the the uh, predator missile and I got him. So, but uh, kill confirmed is actually one of those modes where you probably need to hang in groups, and that's probably the main reason why I do not like this mode. But you know, I play with pretty decent guys, so it's not too bad. And you know, if you have a good team of maybe three or four guys that do communicate and you know they let you know when they actually die and they actually tell you where the guys are coming from it's very helpful <laughs> that that care package almost took me out but uh, luckily i picked it up got my nice little uh h uh overwatch and i've noticed that the care packages on kill confirmed are a lot are a lot better than like tdm and dom but uh it could be me but you know i've consistently get better care packages as opposed to like UAVs every single time I play a TDM. So, um, the one thing that I, I do like with Kill Confirm, even though I'm not a huge fan, is that if you play with people that will pick up tags, it actually does help because I'm more of a mid to long range player. I'm not a guy that's going to be in your face and try to like, you know, shoot you with a shotgun or SMG. I really like the assault rifles. Um, I like aiming down sight. I really like being able to, you know, acquire my target and then take them out as opposed to just, you know, running up on people and destroying people. I actually play with guys that are very, very good with that. And that was a questionable kill, <laughs> but I didn't uh, keep the kill cam, but I think we were a little bit laggy on this game. Well, at least me, I was, I was dealing with, um, a three bar I believe throughout the whole night but uh, it worked out pretty well for me so I really really can't complain now the one cool thing about uh, Oasis is that you can actually toss C4 like that and get tons of kills as you can see <laughs> it's kinda cheap but it is very effective and if you do not know how to use C4 learn how to use it, it is actually probably one of the best uh, equipment that you can actually get. I mean, I know a lot of people run portable radar or they run a trophy system. I actually run trophy system a lot. But uh, when I'm, when I want to like, uh, you know, have my lethal perk, you know, when I look at like, I think it's like Claymores and uh, Bouncing Betty, Frag Grenade, Simtex or C4. C4 hands down is like the most versatile um, equipment from my perspective. I got a nice little helicopter there. I think I got a couple kills with it and I think eventually they shot it down. Here I'm just trying to, you know, keep my head on a swivel, understand that this is a hot spot and know that guys are coming pretty much from every direction. And I think I just stayed here a little too long because I think I die soon. Nope, actually I get another C4 kill. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I actually did pretty well. I didn't, you know, really take my, I, I kind of took my time here, but I had guys around me that was just, you know, destroying people with, uh, you know, shotguns. I think I was the only guy that was not running the shotgun. If, if my memory serves me correctly, but I, I normally play with like 
four to five guys and most of them are running shotguns on this map because it is so easy um, because it's so close range and it's, it's honestly it's fun to actually destroy people <laughs> from close range I actually have fun doing it as well and I think the reason why I went with the G36C is because I was trying to get achievements for that guy and I was really blinded there that guy got me there um, I was trying to get achievements and I also was trying to um, just get kills because I, I was kind of iffy on that board all night. I was three barring it. So I kind of took it back a little bit and tried to play a little long range. And that worked out pretty well for me. I actually had a pretty decent night. I may actually get a chance to take a couple more games from that night and post it. This is the one that I picked out that I really did enjoy because I'm starting to get burned out, burned out on uh, Oasis <laughs> because uh, when we first started playing Elite, I think probably I would say 70% of the time, and I stole somebody's kill there, <laughs> we would run like Oasis in it, and it wasn't anybody's fault. It was just the fact that the, the matchmaking, um, and I whiffed there. That was kind of odd right there. I, it was a couple questionable deaths on this match but you really can't complain when you go like 30 and 10 or 30 and 11 but for me I would say one one thing that I do um, run into a lot is that when we have very big parties I seem to lag a lot or a lot of guys on my team also lag so the only person now that actually has four bars is the host so what I do in that scenario, if I'm, you know, three bars, I don't complain about it. I don't keep on requesting a new lobby. I just hang back and I camp a bit. Um, I kind of feel like I'm at a disadvantage, so I'm just trying to even it up. I know people may get a little, like, pissed off and, you know, call me a jerk and everything. But, uh, oh, I got away with one right there. <laughs> but that's the only way I feel that I can be effective instead of just running and dealing with the fact that, you know, I'm going to die because people have a two second advantage of me uh, on me. So, you know, I try to play smart. I don't just run into situations foolishly. But we're getting close to the end. Um, actually, I, I had a nice little uh, <laughs> ending here. I tried to drop a care package on somebody's head. Um, I think I already got that achievement. But I pop out here, get a kill, and I was trying to line up another guy. And then I was trying to pull out my Predator at the end. <laughs> but um, had a good match. Had fun. Appreciate your, uh, you taking the time to check out my video. If you actually enjoyed it, please click the like button below. And uh, thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Thanks.